Hey guys, welcome back to another impressions video, this time around for Rainbow Six Siege for the PlayStation 4, a game that has been out for over a, almost a year already, and it came out, I think, I believe, on the last year during the holiday season, and it was overshadowed by big, big uh, titles such as, I believe, Fallout 4 was out uh, uh, at the same day or something like that, or and the new Tomb Raider for the Xbox One, and a couple of other uh, big holiday titles came around the time where, when this game was released, which is a true shame because this game got overshadowed completely, and uh, admittedly, I'm late to the party, but better, better late than never. Um, this game is fantastic if you guys enjoy uh, online games. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you guys uh, getting into the, uh, the this game right here, and especially nowadays, you know, the game is uh, cheaper. Obviously, um, you know, you can get this game for thirty dollars or less, I believe, and uh, it's totally worth it. Again, if you guys aren't into online uh, competitive games. Another cool thing about this game is because it got released on a very, uh, I guess, difficult part of the year, um, and the game got um, you know overshadow. This game actually has been increasing in terms of the online community. I, I was reading that uh, an article on, on NeoGAF the other day, where you know the actually uh, the actual online population of this game has been increasing. You know the number of active players, which is really cool, and it's a testament on how uh, good and the quality of this game is in order to keep people engaged and bringing new people into the game, which is pretty awesome. And you know I'm I'm one of them because I bought this game not too long ago. Not expecting a whole lot, but I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, if you guys are looking into a single player experience, well, to begin with, what is Rainbow Six Siege? It's basically an online game, or for the most part, you can play a single player as well, but uh, you play as a counter uh, terrorist uh, group, or you have to select your operators from different types of types of counter terrorist orga organizations. Uh, you can, you know, pick, like for example, uh, FBI, or you have other. Uh, special tactical forces from other countries such as France, Germany, uh, Russia. And once you once you pick your operator, uh, each operator has a different skills that you can use or implement in the, the, the different missions. So uh, it's a very strategic game. It's a very quote unquote uh, realistic game in the sense that one, two, three shots, you're already dead. Uh, you have to uh, be, be very, very careful and plan accordingly uh, whenever uh, you know whatever the objective objective is. Um, like I mentioned, this game has a single player mode, which is a little bit. Uh, bare bones in the sense that it's 10 missions uh, they're, they're called situations but it's really cool how the how they made everything work um, those 10 missions are essentially tutorials uh, when you play the first mission it's very basic you just have to shoot a couple of terrorists and find the exit um, and save the hostage or something like that and then the second mission they teach you you know how to you know you, you can throw grenades and stuff like that on the third mission uh, they, they teach you how to set up barracks and things like that so Essentially, it's a tutorial, but at the same time, it's you have an actual objective. You know, you have to protect a, uh, a hostage, you have to rescue a hostage, you have to uh, defuse a bomb, and things like that. So, they, the tutorial is, in this game is done in a very, very nice way. And on top of that, those single-player missions that you play, those ten different missions, you earn experience points that you can use to unlock new operators, new weapons, new skins, and things like that on the multiplayer version of the game. So it's not a complete waste of time. And in fact, I would highly recommend that you guys complete the first 10 missions, which, you know, that's basically the single player campaign of this game. It takes, I would say, uh, three hours maybe to, to complete all 10 missions, and then you unlock a final uh, special mission that you can play with three other people online. So it's kind of like a co-op mission where you have to just, uh, I think, exterminate the uh, terrorists that are attacking a college um, campus. So uh, that mission was pretty fun, playing with other people online. Uh, it was very, very fun. And then, of course, the meat and potatoes of this game relies on the online portion of the game, which uh, you can play uh, different game modes. Um, you have uh, some a, like a team deathmatch type of game mode. Uh, but it's objective based, so you have four people on, in one team, four people on the other team, and uh, you know you either have to uh, you either have to attack or defend. So, for example, if if it's a rescue the hostage mission, if you're on the attack team, you have to infiltrate a building, get the hostage out, or alternatively, you have to kill all the other uh, members of the opposing team. And if you're on defense, you obviously have to defend the ho uh, hostage. Uh, you have to protect him from the attacking team, so it's really fun. And same thing, you know, with defusing the bomb and things like that. But what usually happens is that instead of uh, people instead of completing the objective, usually uh, I think the missions are like five minutes long, four minutes long. Uh, they're pretty short. But what usually happens is the end uh, they end because the other team kills. 
the entirety of the other team's uh, members. So uh, it's really fun. If you're on defense, you have like a window of like 30 seconds to set up uh, traps and secure your objective. So if your hostage is in one room, you can uh, you can add clipboards or a bar barracks types of things on the windows, on the doors. Uh, to prevent the attacking teams from getting into that room easily, you can set up booby traps, claymores, and things like that. Um, you know, uh, remote controlled um, explosive devices. So it's pretty cool. They give you some time to set up your, um, you know, your, your your room and defend it. And and if you're the attacking team, you get like this small robot or a reconnaissance thing that has a camera on it, uh, so you can. Uh, you have those 30 seconds uh, to find where the hostage is and once you find it you can like spot enemies using the camera and things like that so a very very cool thing and once the game starts like I said the game modes are very very short like less than five minutes you're done uh, and on to the next round um, so it's really really fun in that regard uh, it's, it's a completely different experience from like the battlefield games where you know the games are really long they can drag out uh, they can drag all the way up to 30 minutes uh, for one conquest uh, round, uh, whereas the Rainbow Six Siege is really uh, short and to the point. Uh, in this game, there's no respawning. If you get killed, you have to wait until the round is over, but you have other ways to help uh, your teammates by using cameras and things like that, uh, but obviously you cannot control your, your character anymore. If you get killed within, let's say, the first 30 seconds, you have to wait until uh, the round is over or whoever wins the, uh, the round before you can actually play uh, you know, on the next round. So you have to be extremely careful and uh, this game, like I said, it's more of a realistic type of game where if you get shot one, two, three times, uh, you're already dead. Uh, you don't have to like spray or anything like, you know, bullets against uh, your enemies in order to kill them. Um, you know, it's very realistic and that, in that regard, it's very fun. Now the tactical aspect of the game, you have to, you can pick from different operators. And this game, um, in my opinion, is kind of like a balance between Battlefield and Overwatch. Uh, I know that's a crazy comparison, but uh, in Battlefield, you have usually usually you have a medic type, assault type, a recon or a sniper type. So you have uh, very uh, defined uh, categories for the type of soldier that you pick. Uh, in Overwatch, you have different characters that have completely different play styles, and they all they 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 all have their own unique. Uh, forms of attacks and weapons and things like that and I think Rainbow Six Siege f falls like in between because all of the soldiers that you control have um, you can they have regular weapons you can uh, equip a shotgun a submachine gun or a, a rifle silencer pistols and things like that so all, all of the operators can handle those weapons uh, but the uh, the uniqueness relies on their on their um, on their I guess power up which you know depending on the operator you choose um, you can have different abilities. So, for example, there's this guy on the on the Russian special tactical team that uh, he can set up booby traps uh, with like a, a laser sensor. So, if you open a door and you don't see the sensor and you go through it, you know it's going to explode and kill you. Um, then you have this other guy on the FBI, I think, who is a defender and he can put up um, you know you know shields that are more protective than the normal one so you can barricade walls and uh, doors and uh, windows uh, with a material that is thicker so uh, it takes uh, for uh, it takes more damage from the attackers in order to break those uh, barricades and then you have uh, on, on attack you also have this guy with like with like a huge uh, sledgehammer who can just knock walls uh, doors and windows in, in in like one shot so you have to really coordinate with your teammates you have to see what different types of abilities they choose and you have to be you have to choose based on what they do at the same time to have a, a very well a well balanced team so uh, that's uh, a, a lot of fun comes from you know finding out the tactical things and uh, setting up a strategy in order to uh, to to succeed so it's a very tactical game very um, you know, you have to use your brains more than you can. That, than you have to use your brute strength or force, or uh, you can't just go all guns blazing and shoot people, um, which is a, a pretty cool thing. I enjoy those types of games. Uh, the graphics are really good in this game, especially um, the cinematic sequences. Sequences when you buy or unlock an operator, uh, they're so much fun to watch, full of detail. I know it's just a cinematic sequence, but they introduce basically the operator and the ability that they have and the 
the, the level of just fidelity and graphical detail in those cinematic sequences are amazing. Uh, the, the, I guess the cool and bad thing at the same time is that it takes a while to unlock all of the operators. Um, at the first, it's really easy to unlock a f the first few because it requires very little points or experience points. But as you progress the game and as you as you unlock basically you know the first few operators from each team, you have to um, you have to pay more points in order to unlock unlock the next uh, operators. So it can take a while to ramp up and uh, you know get to. Uh, gather enough points to unlock exactly all of them, but be very, be, be very strategic when you unlock the early ones. Make sure you pick one uh, that you guys are going to like and enjoy and use uh, because later on it's going to be harder to, or it'll take more time to unlock uh, new operators. But uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, one negative thing that I encounter is that after the latest patch, I'm suffering a lot of lag. And in this game, if the netcode is not perfect, it can really affect the way you you, um, you you play against other people online. I found myself getting killed without being uh, without noticing anything. Um, I would be just walking slowly, and then my guy will, will, will die. And then this game has a kill cam, which you know shows you shows you how the opposing player killed you. And I would see, you know, somebody shooting at me, so it's fine that he killed me. But I never heard the shots. I never. You know, it's kind of like you're just walking, and then your guy drops dead. You 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 never heard shots on it, anything like that. So the game has every now and then like a very serious lag. I don't know if it's like a sound lag or or whatever. But uh, conversely, I found myself uh, you know uh, in uh, being advantage by using this uh, lag, I guess, because um, there was a guy that just broke through this door, and as I was turning, I was just. I was just shooting, and in the replay, I sort of got—I I didn't even touch him with, you know, my shots, but somehow I killed him. So I guess the netco registers some of my shots to be delayed or something like that, um, and I ended up killing the guy. So it works both in your favor and against you, and it's something that it's unfortunate, you know, the the lag that this game suffers uh, every now and then. It, it's not a perfect game by by any means, but it, nevertheless, it's a very very fun title. So. If you guys are into online competitive games, make sure you try Rainbow Six Siege, a very underrated game in my opinion, and there's a reason why the community still is growing. There's a lot of people trying this game out. There's plenty of people. Don't uh, don't worry about uh, you know you can find games just like that. There's plenty of people playing this game at all times, so uh, that's de definitely a testament of, of of the quality of the game and how much people enjoy playing this, which is. Uh, again, for a for a discounted price, you know, now that the game is almost a year old, uh, you can find this game for cheap, and you can find a, you can have a lot of fun online, and also single player. You know, the ten missions that you play, even though they're quick, even though you can beat the game in like three hours, um, I think they're fun in, in their own way. So, uh, yeah, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, highly recommended if you guys are into online games. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later.